I have something to admit. Up until recently, I had never played any Fantasy Star Online. The original PSO launched back in 2000 for the Dreamcast, and it was one of the first ever online RPGs for console. Its sequel, PSO 2, came out in 2012, and earlier this year, finally got a North American release. Now, PSO 2 is a free-to-play online action RPG where you play as the newest recruit of Arx, a task force dedicated to defending the universe from its most prominent enemy, the Fall Spawn. It's basically like kind of a MMO type game that was originally for consoles and is now available on PC. So today, in this video being sponsored by Sega, I will finally be giving Fantasy Star Online 2 a try for myself. And like always with any sponsored content, if you guys like what you see, there's a link in the description below. And with that, let's uh, join the ARX Task Force and see what this game is all about. Shall we? PSO 2. Never played this or PSO1. We're gonna see what this is all about. Make a character. What is this? <laughs> Please take a few minutes to fill out this survey. How did you first hear about PSO2? <laughs> Why are they making me take a survey before I try to make my character? Please accept 10 SG as a present. <laughs> okay. All right, hold up. Wait a second. These are just straight up robots. Let me be as boring as humanly possible and just pick human male. Force? Wait a second. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I just have to play this class? I think I have to. I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to play Force. First timer, first timer. <laughs> Never played this. No need to search the room. It's you I'm talking to. Mate is you, mate. <laughs> Let's give it a shot, mate. Yeah, mate, I got it. My left attack is... I can just hold it down and do this. Cool. What about my right... That's a little charge up. And then can I just tap it? Yep, I can. All right, I'm start. okay, here we go. Let's go to the teleporter portal. See what happens. Big old, uh... Oh, I got a middle mouse spawn? What does that do? Ooh, it's a little like blizzard okay. thing. So I've got my basic attack and then my fireball that I can charge up. And then this looks like a reload uh, icon, but it also appears to do this blizzard thing. And then if I do shift, it's just all basic attacks. How, how do you lock on tab? What is it have to be out of Z? There we go, out of Z. Q does it. Okay. What is it? Wait, what do you want me to do? After performing a normal attack or using a technique, time your next attack with the red circle that appears. Oh, I did it. I'm doing it. I'm doing I'm still doing it. Fucking sick, dude. So what is that? Perfect attacks. Okay. Can I do perfect attacks with my ranged? I can. Okay. Good. Now don't forget that feeling. I won't forget that feeling. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm starting to get this uh, this time in this shit. There's a nice little tempo to the um, the perfect attack system there. Whoa, buddy. Okay, then now now that we're full, we. Oh, he's on the ground, so I could have just smacked him right there. I don't know his attack patterns yet, so so I kind of just like I hit. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I can kick my ass, dude. The only thing I'm not liking about this, um, trying to pay attention to this perfect attack is it really has me staring at my character instead of watching the action. It seems a lot- it seems like paying attention to the perfect, uh, attacks and the action is a lot easier when you're in melee. But, like, you see how I'm kind of off to the side here? So I have to, like, look at my character. You know what? It's probably the case that once you're familiar with the game, you just get the timings down, like, you get a feel for the timings. Yikes! I'm sure there's a rhythm to the perfect attacks that you just get used to. That's gotta be it. I can kind of already- Hey! Hey! Look at that! First time! First time playing the game, I just beat the tutorial boss. Can you believe it? Okay, episode one, chapter zero. The day I was waiting for. Here we go. Quest objective, reach the collection point. I'm sorry, excuse me? Select the weapon palette? What? What? I didn't realize the game was gonna start me with a bunch of weapons. What the fuck is this? Is this a buff? Oh wait, no, I just switched to a gun. I'm sorry. I kind of like the big staff. I like the slow attacks and I like the fact that I got a, uh, a fireball shit too. It seems like, where's most of my damage? It really seems like most of my damage comes from these fireballs. But it makes sense because that's the one that uses the resource instead of builds the resource. So, dodge out of the way. Go with the thing, charge it up. 
I need to kill this. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Yeah, it's making it hard to see the boss guys with this stuff in my face. If you don't mind just shutting up for a second. Destroy its legs, then aim for the weak spot. The back of its head while it's down. Oh. Oh my god, dude. What just happened? Code. What? Oh, just staying alive? I see. Wait, that was it? Alright, guess we're just gonna teleport out of here. Oh shit! What was <laughs> this guy? Look at this unicorn, bro! Check that out! It's fucking zapping the shit out of that bug. How'd you do that, dude? Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit is right! Episode 1, Chapter 0, The End. From what little I know about Fantasy Star, I've known that this is like a lobby-based game, like the combat arenas that you move through from one side. Did I just get a fucking S rank, bro? Are you kidding me? Or is that a squiggle? <laughs> Alright, so there's clearly some... I'm guessing that these will be something that I interact with at some point. It's this area, this ship is like the, the, the lobby area. So here's a question. Usually when, when, when games have something like this and they first introduce you to the town, it is completely overwhelming as there's like a billion vendors and systems to interact with. I am very interested to see how they handle it in this game. Okay, already? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, what am I? What's happening? Oh, Jesus, dude. Okay, here we go. Ark's missions is at this world thing, and this is going to be what I'm starting with, according to her. You know what, actually? That was not bad. It could have been a lot more overwhelming. There was a lot to look at, but they pretty much directly brought, dumped me into my next mission without me having to move around the play space and talk to all these different NPCs and take in a ton of information at once. So that wasn't too bad. My name is Shun. Oh, Shun. Sorry. Oh, it's like, uh, okay, the X is a sh. I know in Chinese, the uh, thank you is Shia Shia, and it's X. I think it's XIA. I was, uh, yeah, I was going with the wrong X pronunciation. What the fuck am I even talking about? <laughs> who, ca who cares, Dennis? Shut up and play. All right, well, I'm back at the ship. Uh, I completed the mission, apparently. Look at that guy's sword, bro! Holy crap! I, I, I might have picked the wrong class. Clear force expedition. Fuck yeah, dude, I'm doing this. Okay, let's do this force quest. It's got some enemies. We got, um, there's a dog, a raptor, and Pikachu. Conditions to join? Uh, fr I, I don't want anyone to join, so I'm gonna do this. <laughs> don't have to worry about anyone joining in friends only if you don't have any friends. <laughs> you can equip your character with weapons from this screen. Select an available slot and list of weapons you can equip will pop up. So I think I got a new one of these bad boys. Is this- this is the what- this is the new one? This is my list of abilities? Why can't I see what this does? I just want to know what this does. Foy. A novice fire technique. Converts photons into a ball of pure flames. This is so little information. <laughs> uh, potency must be damaged, right? Ill grants. Crystallizes photons to form droplets of light that pursue targets and explode in a radiant burst. Okay, so this one does a- a- uh, uh. <laughs> I'm just to, I just want to know what these things do. <laughs> so I think this one. <laughs> it sounds like this one will lock onto things and follow them and then blows up in an AoE. I don't know how big the AoE is. You know what? Hey, I just got a new weapon that's going to deal more damage. That's all I need to know. The charge attack is clearly more potent. That's pretty fucking cool looking, I got to say. Oh, I knocked out the trees, dude! Yeah, okay. That's... yeah. That's nice. I like that. Look at that. Two shot, bro. I'm smoking these guys. I wonder if it's from my new weapon or... Now... Can I... God, my fucking fire thing is so dope, dude. Yeah, no. Keep with this weapon. I don't want to use that other shit. This weapon is awesome. Ooh, what's that little, uh... So, oh shit! You can consume one type of drink per quest. I want to put this stuff in my bar. All right, boys and girls, we got this. Look at this fucking beast here. Might as well be an expert at this game. What are you gonna do, jumpy boy? Nope, I know that move. Nope, I know that move, dude. You're not tricking me. So I'm gonna completely drain my mana, and then I'm gonna go in and do the smackaroonie figure out exactly how many hits from zero that I need. I want to just, I want to be completely out. Okay, and then we'll go 
One. One does half my mana. I really only need like two hits. Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm kind of digging this now. I'm getting the hang of this, dudes. What did I pick up? What is this? That's a CD. This is my Limp Bizkit CD. You know what? I didn't even not, not even realize this thing's got like a nice explosion to it. Oh! I forgot about Pikachu. Got it. These guys just won't stop coming, will they? This is gonna be my life. Oh, hello. Dude, I'm god. Oh, what is this? Looks like a little level up. Oh, this is a brand new skill. An intermediate fire technique concentrates and ignites photons in a particular location, causing an explosion. That was the disc I got. Does it just fire directly in front of you? Can I have it go right here? Yes. Can I have it go all the way over there? <gasps> oh! So if there's characters stacked up, then I can go ahead and do that bad boy. But what's weird is that the fireball also does AOE. Where did you come from? Excuse me. Oh, dude, this thing, these things absolutely just spawn back. So could I just keep farming this stuff then? Wait, did I just get a new spell again? Are you serious? Oh shit, okay. Uh, lightning technique. I think this is like the AOE explosion one that I have where it'll go. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's go to zone two. I've been fucking chilling around zone one for a long time. I mean, I've, he I've heard about Fantasy Star and Fantasy Star Online 2 for a long time. Like I've heard a lot of people talk and say some pretty cool things about it. I know it's like one of the earlier versions of these like lobby based multiplayer games. It was, it was kind of almost one of the first MMO type games on consoles, right? This thing, the first one, um, which had a somewhat similar structure came out for the Dreamcast, so fucking long ass time ago. Oh Jesus. What? What is going on? Where are these big boys coming from? Okay, that's enough. Uh, uh, five, five, big heal, five. All right, we're ready, I'm going back in. I feel like I'm ready to take on the world. Hey, me too, you know what? That's the right attitude. The only way you're gonna get anything done is if you believe in yourself. So whip out that blaster and start shooting the shit out of these guys. Help me out. These things are chunky, huh? Here we go. Oh, nice interrupt. Thank you. Lady, the blaster. Whip out the blaster. Please help me. Rare. Oh, rare drop. What is it? Unique weapon badge. All right. We did it. All right, uh, there's an exclamation mark over here. I wonder if that's another, um... Oh, what? Oh, oh, you know what? This is like the guy we fought earlier. Code emergency, attack! 2,000, is that a headshot damage, bro? Is that- wait a second, hold up, hold up. Nobody told me that this game might have headshot. Nobody told me this game had headshot damage. I think it does. Oh my god. Now, is it his crystals or is his head? Wait. Excuse me! Excuse me! Why is there another boss? Can you stop this? It's just fucking... Can you... <laughs> Can you stop, please? Oh, he's good, he's done, okay. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He just wouldn't, he wouldn't fucking quit. All right, wait, wait, here's big boy. So his weak spot, I'm guessing is his butt. Well, I'm a lot better now than I was last time I fought this guy, so maybe he won't be such a pain in the ass. And he's dead, okay. Man, these levels have been like a lot more... I thought they were gonna be... I, I played games like this that were kind of zone-based. This is fairly, like, in-depth. Like, I've spent a lot of time in just in this one area. Maybe it's because I've been spending a bunch of time fighting respawns. But there have also been several events that were like two big boss fight events the code attacks or whatever. And then there's the rescue events, which I've done two, and it looks like I'm about to get a third. They've kind of really, even though, even though as you can see in the minimap, it's like a pretty basic template and area, they've really fleshed it out here. I mean, who knows though, maybe if, you know, if you're playing this game and you're a pro, you probably, there's probably a, a bunch of stuff that you blitz through and skip that's like, you know, because you figure out what's the most worth your time and you bypass everything that's not, right? Like that's usually how, it kind of works in games like this. But as a uh, as a beginner here, this has been a lot more in-depth, I guess, than I expected. 
or there's been a lot more too. Like this is like the this is like the first real quest I've done. <laughs> and I've been at it for like I think I've been in this this spot for over an hour. I am not seeing much to the map up ahead. It looks like it closes off. Oh, nope, there's the boss. Okay, I thought I was getting way easy. <laughs> so this is like the boss that we were fighting in the tutorial with the unicorn. Oh shit. I'll probably just do my and take advantage of my range and smack this guy from really far. Was that a phase change? I, he was not doing this leap before. I... Please. Yeah, baby! Look at that! First attempt! I know it's like the first real mission, but that feels really good. I mean, I clearly... That clearly probably took way longer than it should, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Not bad. So there you have it. That was my very first time, my very first play experience with PSO2. Not too shabby. I think I sunk in about three hours total that made up that uh, highlight clip. And uh, I'll probably be playing some more and do another follow-up video. So, of course, thanks again to Sega for sponsoring this video. And don't forget, if you like what you saw, click that link in the description below. And I'll see you in the next one, all right? Take it easy.